What's up everybody? This here is the great Tate. I'm gonna be as brief as I possibly can because it's raining out here and I don't want to be caught up in the rain. And when you're diabetic, it's a little more difficult to hold it if you catch my breath. But anyways, enough about that. It's amazing though it's raining out here. Even though a lot of people say, man, this is a terrible day because it's raining and it's Sunday. Well, believe it or not, 10 years ago, I got wet. Now, before anybody go and say something really perverted, come on now. It's not that kind of party, folks. Um, <clears throat> Ten years ago, I got baptized. Uh, I got baptized in Jesus' name. And I know a lot of folks don't want to hear nothing about Christianity or anything else like that. A lot of people don't want, want me to talk about it because they want me to either focus on, you know, full reviews or some other stuff. You know, something to earn a blue, a blue uh, check mark, but it's not that. Kind. I'm not. I'm not here for that. So it's been ten years since I got baptized, and I remember that day clearly. You know, uh, I I was going to I was at a different church at the time. I was I was going to a different church at the time, and um, I remember that day when well, a, about at least. A few, I think about a few weeks beforehand, I ran to who was soon to be my sister-in-law and who will also soon to be my wife. Um, and my sister-in-law, well, she didn't become my sister-in-law until uh, a couple years later, around that time. Uh, I went over, um, she said that, they having a they having a um they're having a um an outing a big event a, a community event which I was like oh okay all right and she said and we're going to do baptism I was like oh really because uh, I was I was interested in getting baptized and everything um mainly because you know I was always curious about it. And I wanted to get baptized. I was like, shoot, I don't know. I, I put it in my heart to get baptized, but at the time, you know, I was a bit on the ignorant side of things. So there really wasn't much to be discussed, except, you know, I had to wear, you know, because the, um, I'm sorry for the stuttering, but I'm, I'm like mad tired. But what happens next was, you know, I, I asked the question about getting baptized and my dad so well, we can go ahead and set up a meeting. You know, we can go ahead and set up a date. When you have a date available, you get baptized. <laughs> uh, this this what happens when uh, you don't have a baptismal pool in, in, the, in the church. You know, you gotta go through certain uh, circuits to get it done. But um, I was interested. Um, I was interested. I, I felt it in my heart. I should, you know, but. For the life of me, I it just never happened yet until that point in time. Um, it wasn't until I end up uh, running into my uh, sister-in-law and well, my future sister-in-law and my along with my future wife, and they said they got a big event going on and they want to know if I could. Come over. I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I come over. They said we do a baptism. I'm like, cool. Do I have to wear anything in particular? Like, do I have to wear all white or something like that? It was like, no, just come as you are. I'm like, what? Really? I was like, okay. Um, a few weeks later, actually, no, it was like about a week or two later. I told my dad, I was like, hey, uh, dad, I I gotta get ready to go like ASAP because they got got an event going on and they're doing baptism. I was like, well if you want to get baptized and everything, you could you could have uh you could have, you know you could have it scheduled. I was like okay but I want to get it done today. <laughs> so I end up going home for a second, change up on my clothes. Actually no 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 I already had my chance of clothes with me and everything. I told my dad, I'll see you back in the house. I gotta go. So I end up 
walking several blocks up the street <laughs> and then around the corner so I walk, I, I walk for a bit just getting there uh, just for this event as much as I would like to go ahead and see what's going on you know get some food some drinks and getting the, the entire activities and stuff I was like I'm here for business I'm here not for just any business I'm here for spiritual business like my motive, my motive was, I'm here on some spiritual business, pal. I'm here to go ahead, I'm here to go ahead and get baptized. That was my attitude. My attitude was, I'm here to get baptized. That was my attitude that day. I wasn't playing around, I wasn't playing no games. You know what I'm saying? You know, I see my sister-in-law, like, hey, how you doing? It's like, hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, my sister's over there. It's like, okay, cool. And then I have to go ahead and see my future wife, but she was busy doing something, you know. You know, when she focuses on getting things done and everything, she focuses on it. So I'm like, say, hey, how you doing? Uh, and then she, she was kind of, you know, focused on something. So, yeah. But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, what happens next was I was just like, you know, I, I'm there for business too. I'm like, I'm here for some business. Not just any business, but some soul business. And that's what happened. Got right in there. You know what I'm saying? I got in there. And, uh, it was like, okay, all right, well, this is what you're going to do. You're going to. You know, have on what you have on if you want to. It's like, mm, yes, yeah, sir. But I can't prepare. I had, I had sword trucks on, so I can't prepare. So I walked up in there. You know, I had the robe on. Like, they already got the robe ready and everything and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I know they can't do those type of things these days because, you know, everybody's worried about COVID and whatnot. But anyways, went in there. Got changed. Walked up in there. I was ready for it, man. I was ready for it. And then next thing you know, I got baptized in Jesus' name. I was happy as a mother. I was happy as a clam. I tell you the truth, folks. I was so happy. It was ridiculous. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> so next thing you know, they prayed over me and everything. And I thought I was going to get the Holy Spirit that day, too, because I wouldn't get the Holy Spirit. But I'll talk about that later. Actually, I had the Holy Spirit eight years. I remember when I first got the Holy Spirit, but I'll talk about that later. But for now, after going through that process and everything, I felt brand spanking new. I was happy. I was just like, I was like, I was like a spiritual brag. Like, yo, I just got the Holy. Yo, listen, yo. Like, well, before I got the, uh, this is before I got the Holy Spirit because I didn't get the Holy Spirit until like um, two years later two years later and it was crazy how things happened between that time frame and whatnot but i'll talk about that a little later but for today well i got you know when i got baptized that day it was it was amazing it was freaking incredible i felt like a brand new man you know what i'm saying all the stuff of the old washed away all the stuff of the old dead and gone buried in in christ all that stuff from the past that have haunted me as far as like the things I've done wrong and everything. Um, that day, I became a new man. So, and even to this day when I think back about it, about how I'm going through the process and everything, what God leads me and everything. I know a lot of people say, well, no, this is not supposed to be done. It's supposed to be... You know, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I know everybody want to argue me about that. This is not that type of party. If you want to argue me down on it, I'm going to tell you straight up. It's in the Bible. It's in the Word. I know everybody will say, but Jesus said this. But yet, yeah, you, you know, you just got to read it. You got to see it for yourself. They didn't go, oh, he meant like this. And everybody did exactly like that. No. He's just simply saying, hey, uh, the name here is, huh. <clears throat> and he's pointing at himself. Really, hey, I'm talking about me. You know, my name. And my name in it. There you go. <laughs> so, you know, just in case everybody breaks up Matthew uh, 20, 28, 25, 28. Oh, gosh, I have a, 
This is what happens when you don't get much sleep. Lord Jesus, please bring it to my memories, please. <laughs> but yes, everybody will bring that up and they say, no, that's the proper, no, no, listen. Just read the Bible. Don't, don't lean on your own understanding. That's got to open it for you. You'll find out. But <clears throat> I know this ain't going to get many people want to watch it because uh, people expect me to, you know, not talk about these type of things because I'm going to get the blue blue check mark and all this other kind of stuff. So, you know, my channel will be booming and everything as long as I don't mention certain particular things. But for me, this is big. This is momentous for yours truly. And I've been blessed ever since that day. Um, if I didn't make those those right spiritual decisions, to tell you the truth, I was still probably at home at my folks, still struggling, trying to find a way out of one situation to a, to a better situation. You know what I'm saying? And I thank God. I really do. This is, you know, it ain't at all. This is pretty much a testimony. And I don't mind dropping the testimony on my channel. I really don't mind that. And for those who do mind and have an issue with it, don't take it up on me. Take it into my true boss, Jesus Christ. Enough said. But for those who want to argue me down on the proper way to stand the third, I'll be like this. Once again, take it up with the boss. He got instructions. It's already here. <laughs> So, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not here to get in a theologian battle or anything or, you know, whatnot. But for anybody who's a Christian or those who, who are and understand that it is a process um, to hear from one person <clears throat> who is somewhat of a controversial figure in the, in the YouTube landscape, in the YouTube landscape and to hear from, from your pastor, not once but twice, backs up everything. Trust and believe. Out of the mouth of two or three. You know what I mean? Where is established? It really is. And it is actually it it, it is actually a um, process. I I grew to understand that that it is a process. A lot of people say, just say the sinner's prayer and you're good. No, it takes more than that. You know, it's part of the process to recognize your sin. Okay, you know what? That's like saying, I realize that I'm dirty right now. I realize I have been playing in the mud. I've got dirt and stuff on me. The dog that, that happened to be out there in the water and stuff, smelling all funky now. He got all up on me, licking my face and everything. I'm smelling like, you know, I, I smell real bad and everything. I realize I'm dirty. So now what? Oh, I got to go ahead. I got to get cleaned up. What happens next? I go hang out, take a nice little bath, get all cleaned up and everything. And next thing you know, my third final process, dry off properly and stuff. And now I'm good to go. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I got to pull my clothes and everything, but you catch my drift. I hope so. I hope you catch my drift. But just like as you will recognize you got dirt on you, it's like recognize your sins and everything. A lot of people don't want to talk about that. But yeah, when you recognize your sins, it's like, oh my gosh, you know. To realize that, but unfortunately, these days, nobody don't want to hear the truth. To tell the truth, everybody gets all offended. That's what truth is. Truth is like freaking medicine. That's what it is. It's a medicine. You know what I mean? Everybody's talking about, yeah, I took my vaccine for 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 the for for, for the um for COVID. I took the vaccine. I took the vaccine. Did it hurt? Yes. But do you feel better? Hopefully, I didn't get the Johnson Johnson one. <laughs> Just saying for what's been happening in the news this way, but I digress. That that's allegedly. Allegedly. See, see YouTube? See? You know? But there's a lot of people that are bragging about it. Hey, Krispy Kreme say, hey, you done you, you did it? Alright, great. You took your shot. Alright, great. You'll be rewarded. So when you get the truth, trust and believe. It will hurt like hell, but guess what? At the very end, it's better for you to go ahead and take that little, that little. A little prick of reality that hits you right in the arm and everything, and you'll feel much better and everything. Unless, of course, you're diabetic, and I can't really eat no Krispy Kreme. Hmm. But, anyways, I put it to you this way, folks. I put it to you this way it's a process. Come to the truth or understanding about the sins and everything, and no sin is greater than the next. So, wherever it may be, wherever that sin is, 
whether it be just telling little white lies to adultery to whatever it may be you know what i mean as long as you don't offend as long as you don't blaspheme the holy spirit you good to go like you know what i'm saying i'm just just telling you straight up it's a process then next get baptized in jesus name boom it's written in the bible everybody said but, but no 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 it's supposed to be just that it's already been written not one time did, uh, did uh, no, but they're in the wrong. No. They've already been filled with the Holy Spirit. They've already been baptized. They already confessed their sins. They already been through it. They've been through the process. Get baptized in Jesus' name and then afterwards. The Holy Spirit. You gotta get that last one. Boom. There you go. You done. It's a process. Being a Christian is is, is pretty hardcore. And it's a process that goes along the way. Everybody go through the process. Everybody. You know, but it depends on... It depends on what kind of ground you have. You know what I mean? I want to go to church as much as possible. And that's why I'm praying that, you know, I get a... A, a full-time job where I'm working Monday through Friday. Have the weekends off. That'll be a huge blessing. Because I, I know for sure... Uh, if I lean too hard on YouTube, guarantee my channel will flop or something will happen along the way. You know what I'm saying? So it's a process, folks. It is an absolute process. So I leave it at that. But in the meantime, in the in between time, folks, I'm going to continue to go ahead. I'm going to continue to uh, to do my be very best for the world. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to do my best. But today I'm celebrating the day. I got baptized. So, you know, I, I feel blessed. I feel great. I feel awesome because God is awesome. And without him, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be blessed with, with wife and kids. A lot of people say, well, this, that, and the third. But, hey, listen, you got yours. I got mine. This here is my testimony. So, I hope everybody have a blessed day. And, uh. Hopefully there's some more content from yours truly down the road. So, um, like I said, I am planning on I'm, I'm I'm planning on doing another food review real soon. Um, I'm gonna do another one coming up. It's gonna be local, and hopefully I'll have it up real soon. Um, either sometime next week at the very earliest. Uh, not this not this Monday, but uh, next Monday. Hopefully I can make the trip out there so i'll go ahead and do my thing so anyways folks this here's a great taste god bless love y'all continue to support the great tate channel and uh that's it y'all bless day and uh now feed the black <laughs>